I think we're safe. As she said, my name is Jackie Walker, and my title is the Doctor of Closetology. And I will tell you what closetology means to me. Closetology means that every morning when we wake up, we walk into that closet and we figure out not what we're really going to be wearing, but the courage that we need for the day. To me, clothing is basically not fashion. It's really self-esteem. So I'll share some facts with you. Number one, on a national average, women only wear 20% of the clothes in their closets. How many women here wear more than 20? Maybe one or two people. On a national average, men wear 90% of the clothes in their closets. The difference is that a woman, I'm going to teach you men about these closets. A woman shops for emotion, and a man shops for need. So if I say to a woman, one of you in the audience, I really love your sweater, you will not say thank you. You will say, do you really? You know, I bought it on sale, and I should have bought a second one. I wasn't sure if I should. I went back for one hour, you will tell me about that sweater. If I say to a man, I like your tie, he'll say, Thank you. Because to a woman, her clothes are the whole history of her life. And to a man, a tie is a tie. If I say to a woman, I'm going to take you shopping, because I do personal shopping, the woman will drag me into every store in the mall and go back and buy what? The first thing she saw, or put it on hold for three days. The man will say, can you do it for me, or how long is this going to take? So closetology is really the science of the psychology of what's in our closets. Husbands say to me all the time, my wife stands in front of the closet every day and says I have nothing to wear and she has five closets. He doesn't understand when he's looking at tons of clothing why his wife, girlfriend, says I have nothing to wear. It's because we have nothing to wear that makes us feel beautiful. Is that not right? Nothing that gives us the security to go out and meet what we want to meet for the day. So I'm going to teach you how to never say those words again in the time we have together. And I want to thank Eddie Z's for bringing me here because they're doing custom closets now along with their drapes and blinds. They're offering 30% off on custom closets now. And um, what I love about Eddie Z's closets is they don't just build one size fits all. They actually want to know what your life is. Because depending on your internal fashion persona, your closet has different needs. So let's talk about that for a minute. Every woman is born with an internal fashion persona. It's who you were at birth. Now a man will have a few, but a woman, women will have five. And I'm going to describe them to you. What happens is, if you don't know who you are, you buy things and never wear them. And I'm sure all of you have things in your closets with tickets on them you've never worn. So let's describe them. And I know who everybody in this audience is, and I can tell just by looking at you. And if you want to know who you are, again, you can meet me at Eddie Z's booth after the performance, and I will tell you your internal fashion persona. And if you bring your guy with you, I'll tell you his. And why you may or may not get along, depending on clothing. So the first one is the classic. The classic woman wears plaid stripes, dots, and solids, hoop studs, and ball earrings. She wears pants more than skirts. She likes a handbag with a lot of compartments in it. And the interesting thing about a high classic she wears the same jewelry all the time. She takes it off at night, puts it on the dresser, puts it right back on in the morning. How many classics are there? All right, now if you do have classic in you, it doesn't mean that's your total persona, because everybody is a mixture of different personas. So that's, everyone's going to have some classic in them. So let's go to the next one. This is the romantic. 
The romantic woman has curl to her hair. She has florals and prints and lace, and if it has a bow on it, she buys it. She loves pearls. She usually wears one strand and they drop right here. She does drop earrings. She's pink, pink, pink. Everything is very soft and romantic. And then we have the natural of all my private clients. The natural is probably the woman that I deal with the most, and this is why. She wears very little makeup. She doesn't want to take the time. She wears two-piece dressing, because thinking of the third piece is too stressful. She has two favorite words in life. One is comfortable, it must be comfortable, and the other is elastic. She loves elastic. So everything is very natural. She's more interested in what she's doing than what she's wearing, and she hates to shop. So I can see all the naturals in the audience right now. They go into a store, they buy a top, and they buy seven of the same top, because they don't want to go back, right? We're going to lose her up here because that's her, see? They don't want to shop. And then we have the drama queens. The drama queens are interesting. They wear rings on unexpected fingers like the thumb, the pinky. Um, they layer their watches, they layer their jewelry. They wear animal prints and they're very fashionable. They read all the fashion magazines, and they cut out pictures and actually go and look for the items. So the classic, the natural, the dramatic, and the romantic. The last one is the mood dresser. Now the mood dresser has everything in her closet. She has to wear something for every occasion. But the problem is, she doesn't know who she is, so she changes clothes three to four to five times a day, and leaves the house unsure of how she looks, and spends the day asking everyone, do you like me in this? Do you think I look okay? Because she's not quite sure of her appearance. 